Praise God, everybody. Um, the Romans were a savage and brutal people. At one point, they dominated the world and they ruled. They had a great empire. One of the things that the Romans did uh, to show people who were in rebellion to their government or their leadership and uh, lawbreakers of certain types, they would punish them by putting them to death via crucifixion. Crucifixion was a method that the Romans did not invent, but they mastered it. And they used it all the time to punish people and to put people to death in a slow, agonizing, and torturous way. The Romans were experienced at crucifying people. They were passionate about it. I imagine that soldiers would look for opportunities to crucify criminals and maybe they looked forward to doing it. Maybe they had competitions on who can make the most blood squirt when they drive the nail in. I don't know, but they had a passion to do it. And history shows us that many were crucified by the Romans and put to death in that way. Did you know that the Bible calls for all believers to crucify the flesh? Galatians chapter five, verse 24 says, and they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. We are called to crucify the flesh. We have to put to death the carnal desires of the flesh, the carnal impulses, the affections, the lusts that lead us to do carnal things, sins of a carnal nature, sins of the flesh like jealousy, envy, hatred. When we act out in the flesh, we are called to crucify the flesh. Why don't we have the same mindset that the, Roman, that the Romans had to crucify the flesh? Why don't we look at our flesh with the same hatred, with the same tenacity, with the same passion to crucify everything that is not of God, to crucify every desire, to bring every desire to death, every lust of the flesh to death with the same mindset? Why don't we crucify our flesh like a Roman? The scripture says in Jeremiah 23 and 29, is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. The word of God is a hammer. You're going to need a hammer to crucify your flesh. Why don't we take the hammer of God's word and violently, savagely, crucify the affections and lusts of the flesh? Why don't we take the word of God that says, love your enemies and drive nails into the flesh that want to act hateful, that want to act disrespectful, that want to use our brothers, that want to be jealous and envious? Why don't we use the word of God to love people? Why don't we use the word of God that says mercy and have compassion for people? Why don't we use the word of God and with the same tenacity and passion that the Romans had in crucifying people, why don't we crucify our carnal nature with the same mindset like a Roman? We have to put to death the little carnal impulses. We can't walk in the flesh or after the flesh. The flesh has to die. We need the flesh to be crucified because resurrection power doesn't come until after the crucifixion. And in this year, let us walk with the power of God, the spirit of God inside of us, enabling us to do everything that God called us to do. Let us crucify the flesh with all of its affections and lusts. Let us use the hammer of God's word to say no to the flesh and to enable us to crucify the flesh like a Roman. God bless you all. Grace be with you and peace from God. I hope this blesses you, share it with somebody, and let's go into 2019 empowered by the Spirit of God because we've crucified our flesh.